Good morning. Welcome to another week. Today is Sunday, January 17th. Yesterday, my roommate and I cleaned out our our spare room, our junk room, as it were. And so I didn't get much sewing done. I did get my vlog for last week edited and it's finally almost ready to upload. So you'll see that soon. But here it is. We're starting week three. So today I'm going to finally put the buttons on this and the buttonholes. So hopefully, hopefully the next time you see it, it'll be ready for me to just hang up in the closet. I have that photo shoot to do when that's done. I have the other photo shoot that I was going to do on Friday but didn't get around to. So I think I'm going to make today a sewing day and then tomorrow will be a photo shoot day since I have tomorrow off. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And yeah, I think that's just about it for now. I'm so happy that the buttonholes came out. I just realized that it's white thread on a pastel sheet, so you may not be able to see it, but that's okay. Trust me, they came out perfectly. So I'm going to clip all the threads, sew the buttons on, cut open the buttonholes. Not necessarily in that order. I kind of have to have the buttonholes open to see where I need to put the buttons. That's a good tip. Do the buttonholes first and then do the buttons because it's much easier to move a button than it is to undo all the threads of a buttonhole and move that whole thing again. No. Buttonholes first and then buttons. Alright, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. I think I'll make noodles. Sesame garlic noodles. That sounds good. So I'm going to go grab lunch and then I'll probably watch I might watch WandaVision again. I don't know. It was it was really fun. It was really good. I don't I don't know if I ever said that on on Friday, but WandaVision is very good. If you are an MCU fan, you will love it. If you're a fan of like the vintage aesthetic and I Love Lucy shows like that, you will find this hilarious. So that's what I'm gonna go do. I'll see you in a bit. So here she is in all of her glory. All the buttons are done, all the snaps, 100%. So that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and hang it up and get it off my table. So I think I am going to do photo shoots tomorrow for this dress and the other one that I've been meaning to do. So we'll see how that works. Um, I think right now I might play with some fabrics and get some fabrics out of the way. Yeah, let's do that, let's do it.
so I've sorted through all my purple fabrics. I have two tubs. This one is now mostly empty, which is good. This one is all neatly folded and packed nicely, so that's good. This box is fabrics that I don't have any specific plans for yet, but I really don't want to throw them away just because they're so pretty. Ignore the bird. I apologize. And I have a bag full of scraps. Lots of scraps for the kids to play with, so that's good. I think what I'm going to do now, I might even have time to sew up a quick um, a quick t-shirt before I um, before I go cook dinner and and eat and go to bed. So, we'll see. I think I can get a lot done on it if not finish it. This is a piece of purple knit. This is a really cool waffle knit with green and purple all mixed together. A purple, a lavender, and a, like a sage green. So I think I'm going to see if I can get something out of this piece and get it out of the box and into my closet where it belongs. Everybody, it is Sunday night, and after a frustrating time, I had to come to the conclusion that I just did not have enough of this fabric left to do any kind of shirt, a Henley, anything for me. There just was not enough. So I decided to cut out a scarf, just a long rectangle. Um, I think 40 inches by like 12 inches, something like that. Just a long, long rectangle. And then I cut out a little beanie to go with it. And the rest were just scraps, so I just tossed those into the bag for the kids to, kids to play with. I was, I was really hoping to get a second shirt out of this. I absolutely adore the Henley that I made. I made a long sleeve Henley with a hood. It's so fun, it's so soft, but I just, sometimes you just can't fit all the pieces on it, and that's just the truth. No matter how clever you think you are by putting the pieces, sometimes you just can't do it. So I had to concede defeat this time, but I still think a little beanie hat and a little scarf will be cute. I don't think I'll wear it with the Henley because that would be too matchy-matchy. But with other outfits, like I have a purple coat. And so this will look adorable with the purple coat. So that'll be fine. I'll be fine. I was really sad. I wanted to get another shirt out of it, but I just couldn't. Oh well. Sometimes you can't. And now I'm just rambling because I'm really tired. So I will see you all tomorrow. I plan to try to do the photo shoot but I might end up just sewing these. Yes, that's what I was going to say. I plan to get out my serger. I've got my serger combs out because I haven't been um, working with my serger very much, like at all. I think I've used it twice, which is ridiculous. Like, why did I buy it if I'm not gonna use it? So I am gonna use it. It should be pretty easy to get this hat and scarf done like lickety split. 
so we'll see that's that's my plan tomorrow either photo shoots or a serger we'll see which I feel like right. now it's time to go to bed so good night I'll see you all in the morning hello everybody happy Monday today is January 18th and it is MLK day where we remember and recognize Martin Luther King Jr.'s great contributions. So I have today off, so I'm going to be using my serger again. Pray for me. I, I don't remember how to rethread it. So I'm a little scared, but we can do it. We can do it. I can look up an, a tutorial. You can look up a tutorial for anything on YouTube. Anything. So I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's quit procrastinating and get this done, shall we? Let's do it. I mean it's not much to look at but I I like how the gray just kind of blends in it doesn't draw any attention to itself it just kind of blends in but it still looks neat and finished so I have a scarf I have a cute little beanie to match um, I don't often wear hats I say as I'm 
wearing a hat. But I think I'm gonna start wearing hats more because they're cute. This is cute. And this is so cute. I love it. I don't know why I don't wear it more. It is a little, um, what do you call that? I guess almost like a beret, but it's not like a classic flat beret. It's got some seams on the, on the sides all around to give it a shape. And it's from uh, like a, a reprint of a 1960s pattern from Simplicity. I might talk about it in depth some other time, but I just love it. It's so cute. And I love the little pearl and uh, silver button. So cute. Anyway, we were talking about these hats and the scarf. That's what we were talking about. So, hat, scarf. And I also wanted to show the Henley that I made out of the same fabric. It's got a nice little hood here. And the back is just the back. It's nothing exciting. But I am always cold, so I'm always needing long sleeves, especially from, I don't know, October to April. I wear long sleeves almost all the time. And I notice I, see, I tend to wear the same ones like all the time, so I, I decided I really needed to make some more. But here's a, here's a rant. Why is everything for women sleeveless? why i don't understand i get way too cold all the time to wear sleeveless i never wear sleeveless maybe if i'm going to be outside all day in the middle of august i might wear short sleeves maybe but i i don't know maybe i'm just incredibly cold natured and i don't know maybe i'm just weird but i love I love my my Henley. It's so cute. Now I think I'm going to have some lunch now because it's about noon. And then I think I'll do photo shoots this afternoon. Oh, I'd have to remove my hat. Oh well. I can put it back on afterwards. So I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat some lunch and then do some photo shoots. Hello everyone, just checking in. It's a little bit after 6 on Monday night. I have been uh, taking photos as Princess Belle in a 1950s gown that I made several years ago. Um, I'll be doing a blog post all about it pretty soon I guess since I got a lot of pictures this afternoon. So I, I'm really tired. My head is hurting. This wig is too tight, I think. I've had the wig on for like an hour and a half. It is just, it's just killing my head. So this needs to come off. But I did have a lot of fun. I made some reels for Instagram, so that was hilarious. I, I'm so funny, apparently. I think I'm so funny. But yeah, I'm going to get out of this and then we'll see what I do next. I'll keep you posted.
Good evening. It is 10 o'clock Monday night. Um, so I just got it in my head that I wanted to make this shirt that I've had in mind for a little while. And I couldn't stop until I finished it, so I finished it. <laughs> I love this fabric. It's so cute. So bright and colorful. I love it. It's got like so many characters and I love this sketch feel to it. It's a long sleeve t-shirt, purple, so I'm still using up my purple scraps. Now I think I only have one or two more pieces and then I'll be able to fit everything into one tub and that was my goal so that's awesome. I'm so close. And this is the third week, so that is pretty good. I was worried it would take me like forever, but if I can get through each color in like a month or less, that would be fantastic. And it'll only take like until the summer. So we're gonna keep on, uh, Keep on keeping on. Alright, now I really need to go to sleep. So I'll say good night for t for today. Hello, good morning. It's January 19th, Tuesday. And I'm a little burned out with sewing right now because I stayed up too late to making this adorable top. So Today I'm going to go through and edit some photos that I took yesterday and just, you know, take it easy today. So, let's go.
it is Tuesday night and I'm just about ready to go to bed but I thought I'd just come and say hi real quick um, I didn't get any more done I, I got all my pictures edited so that's that's a start I'm not going to be filming tomorrow I'm going to be taking the day off from YouTube vlogging so, and I'm not sh quite sure what I'm going to do yet but it'll probably be vlogging or I'll probably probably be practicing a lot tomorrow just to get into the habit before audition season comes up. It's coming up pretty quick. So yeah, I'll see you all on Thursday. Hello everybody. Good afternoon. It is Friday, January 22nd. I took a few days off of filming uh, to do some work, to do some work on my music things. But I'm back today here just for a minute. A few days ago, I did a poll on Instagram as to what I should do with this beautiful purple wool. I'll try to um, show the camera its true colors. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a beautiful, soft, true purple wool. And I had a poll up on Instagram that asked whether I should make a purse or a hat. And the hat won. So, I'm going to use this pattern. It's a reprint by Simplicity of one of their old patterns. I believe this is a 1960s pattern. I believe it was, but there we go. 1960s authentic. So it's authentic. I've made this before. You've seen me wear it before. It's this little beret. It's so cute. You can wear it like this. You wear it at the back of your head. You can wear it to the side. So cute. And I had this beautiful purple wool and I was like, I want to do something with this. So I had that cut out. I have a lining just out of a um, purple quilting cotton from my stash. Use that piece up as well. We are getting close to cutting down my uh, purple stash in half so we're, we're very close I have like two or three more pieces I think before I can officially call it and say I've cut my stash in half but we're close we're so close so next week I think I'm not gonna be filming every day I'm going to be working on my music and I'm getting ready for some auditions and I just I just want to put up more singing and more piano on this channel that I have in the past. I have like, oh, I, I don't know, not even like five or six music, music videos on a channel called The Singing Costumer. I have, I don't know what, 20 sewing videos. So I need to fix that ratio a little bit, but I've been practicing on um, three or four, maybe five pieces that I'm gonna be bringing to you very soon. So I'm very excited about that. But like I said, I'm not going to be filming every day this next week. I think I'm going to try to film on um, Sunday and then Friday. Or maybe Saturday and then the following Friday. We'll see. We'll see how that works. But I'll probably just check in like once or twice next week. Well, I'm going to cut the vlog here then. Thank you so much for watching, for liking, for commenting. It really means the world to me. Please make sure you follow so you're notified every time I upload something new and get ready for some more music in the singing costumer. Some more singing from the singing costumer. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.